Thank you for joining me in this Tech Talk video from ATG. My name is Angela Norris. I am a licensed architect and a senior architecture building technical specialist. This demonstration is how to create a custom material type for rendering choosing an image from a website. Opening Revit, here is a basic brick common running bond wall. Looking at the wall's properties under structure, select the material for brick common. This brings up the material browser. Navigating to appearance for this material, this image is the color and pattern for the material. Under relief pattern, this image is the bump pattern that gives the material image its texture. Exit out of the wall's properties and begin creating the new material. For this demonstration, I am using the Acne Brick website modular brick size. From this website, there are many brick colors and texture types available to create a new material. I am going to use alluvial light. Select the image. This image shows the brick's color and textures for the new material. Select the image. Save the image to the project's folder. Back to the Revit project. To create the new material, navigate to the Manage tab, select Materials, duplicate the brick common material, rename it to Brick Alluvial Light. Under the Appearance tab, duplicate the asset, rename it to Brick Alluvial Light. Select the PNG image file to replace it with a new image downloaded from the website. Revit's material library is located in the C drive, Program Files, Common Files, Autodesk, Materials, Textures, One, Maps. Navigate to the image saved in the Projects folder and replace the PNG file. To edit the proportions of the image, select the image. This opens the Texture Editor box. Here are the different ways the image can be adjusted. Scroll down to Scale to adjust the image proportions. Toggle the Aspect Ratio to modify the scale. Change the width to 1 foot 8 inches and the length to 10 and 1 half inches. The image is now proportional in length and height for the number of bricks in the new image. Select Done. Now to create a new bump pattern for the material's image. Navigate back to the material image saved in the Projects folder. Open the image. This brings up the image as a JPEG. Select Edit. Select Adjustments and remove all color from the image. Save a copy to the Projects folder. Add Bump to the image's name. This creates a black and white image to use for the texture of the new material. Exit out of the image. Under Relief Pattern, select the image file to replace the bump pattern. Select the bump image to modify the scale to match the material's image. Toggle the lack aspect ratio. Change the width to 1 foot 8 inches and height to 10 and 1 half inches. The image now matches the material's color and pattern for its texture. Select Done to exit out of the texture editor box. Under Graphics, check Use Render Appearance to match the color of the material in a shaded view to the appearance of the material's image. Create a new wall for the new material. Duplicate the common brick wall. Rename it to Brick Alluvial Light. Select Structure and replace it with a new material. Select OK, OK, and OK again. This is how the wall will appear in a shaded view under the Graphics Display Options. Change to Realistic. 
This shows how the material will appear for renderings. Check the proportions of the image by drawing lines. Draw a horizontal line. Offset the line to 2 and 5 eighths of an inch for the brick's height. Adjust the dimensions to the lines. The height of the bricks are correct. Check the length. Draw a vertical line. Offset this line 8 inches for the length. Adjust the dimensions. The bricks are proportional in length. Open a 3D view. Change to shaded to see how the wall will appear in a 3D shaded view. Change to realistic. This is how the wall will appear for renderings. Hope you have enjoyed this Tech Talk video from HEG.